Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another word for the day with your boy, JT. I pray everybody's having a wonderful, blessed weekend and staying safe as we give the most high all the honor, glory, and all the praise and worship. This is a video response back to you, uh, Mac and Two. My title says, The Most High Makes the Pastor. The Most High Makes the Pastor. The Most High Qualifies the Pastor. It's got to be Yahweh or there is no way. Now, you had a good question about how people do in churches nowadays. Should a congregation continue to keep voting a pastor in? Should we take up a vote? You know, because we already know for a fact, let's say this off top, you got man's way of doing things. Or we could even say the world's way of doing things. Then you got the Most High's divine order. And the Most High don't need permission from none of us to do what the Most High needs to do. But you got to understand, you got man way, and then you got Yahweh. I'm not knocking people that go to seminary school, do what you do, you know. But to rightly divide this, I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. Uh, some of the best priests I ever had, heard, excuse me, and know, didn't go to nobody's school. But nowadays, you need all these qualifications. You need all these titles, you know. But once again, I'm not knocking what people do. But it's all about titles nowadays. You gotta have doctor in front of your name. You gotta have bishop. You gotta have, I'm, I'm prophet this, you know, so on and so on. I'm apostle this, you know. But, you can have all those titles. But are you preaching the sound doctrine? Hey, you can go online now, what, and, and buy a title to put doctor in front of your name for what? About a hundred bucks now? Everybody I know pretty much that's in, in ministry is putting titles in front of their name like it's really making them bigger than what they are, but it's really just making their name longer, you know? But going to seminary school don't make you become a pastor. Let, let me say this right. Cause there, there, may, there may be somebody that's going to seminary school and taking this the wrong way. Go to school, knock yourself out. But I always have a saying, you got people going to seminary school, they making good grades in school, but they flocking in the Holy Spirit. Because most seminary schools, especially that I know, they're going to teach you to teach a certain way. And if you get outside of that way, they don't like it. And most of them teaching you now just to hoop and holler and get the crowd going and, and, and stuck on philosophy, philosophizing. But do do with all the philosophizing, is that the word of the Most High that they preaching? See, I know this might not sit well with, with at least a hundred Baptist preachers, but when you are called by the Most High, that comes from the Most High. Not your kin folks. Not somebody saying, oh, buddy, you got that preaching for us. You're going to be next in line, brother. You better get ready. You know, your daddy was a pastor. It don't always work like that. And you got to be careful who you're listening to because, once again, if God didn't call the pastor, who are you being called by? Old folk used to say some was called and some was sent. Some of them Negroes just got up and went. They, in other words, they, they chose themselves. They got in the ministry for the money. They got in it for the, for the, for the, for the being glorified to man and not the most time. They, they liked to make people feel good. They, they, they thought that it was about this and that, but it wasn't, it, when it comes down to it, they didn't have the Holy Spirit. Mm. It comes from the most time. See, one thing about college we have to understand is that there are teachers, and you are the student. Sorry about that noise. And you got a lot of seminary schools making students. But how many of these seminary schools can make you do what the Most High said? Let me just say it like this. How many of these seminary schools can call you to do what God calls you to do. If, if I can just put it plain like that. See, once again, everybody not called by the most high. If the Holy Spirit didn't make the preacher, then who was making the preacher? I say this all the time, just like a revival. These preachers trip me out nowadays with this revival stuff. Oh, we finna do a revival next week, three nights out of the week. Such and such gonna be here on Tuesday night. 
Bishop such and such to beat our wins, and and and, and what's the name gonna come Thursday? Then, then we gonna he gonna close it out. Make sure you go get all the people you know, get the unbelievers and everybody. First of all, you don't plan a revival. Somebody better come on and say Amen. The Most High sent the revival. When you see people playing in revivals because that's something they want to do and it's all about money nowadays, you better check yourself. God sent the revival, not somebody playing in revival. And second thing is a revival is not for unbeliever. It's for the, be the believers. Why are you going to get somebody that's an unbeliever to bring them to a revival? When they don't even know what you're talking about and what's going on. See, these things are not taught a lot, you know. But once again, I say this. It's all about your titles now and your, your accolades. You know, you got to have a PhD. Well, when you look at the Bible, it's totally different. Go back to Saul before he was converted over to Paul. To one of the greatest killers and murderers of the Christians. Put him in prison. But he thought what he was doing was right. Paul had all kind of accolades. Paul set up on the Gamaliel's feet. This supposed to have been a big time, we say in our day's time, Bible scholar. And that's who Paul learned from. But with all that that Paul knew and all his accolades, what did he show us? He didn't even have the Holy Spirit at first. He didn't know nothing about the Holy Spirit. What's your point, JT? You can be following some big time bishop. You can be sitting up under these man-made folks, these doctors, and these the man-made doctors, and big time people who stuck on their titles and still don't have the Holy Spirit. Where is the Holy Spirit? See, I'm, I'm going to say this and I'm going to try to wrap this video up. Our Savior built one church. Not churches. Church. He built one church. The body. He said, upon this rock I should build my church and the gates of Hades should never prevail against it. People say, well, he did build a, he built, he built a church off Peter. If that's what you believe. But he built the church off himself. Who's the chief cornerstone? Peter was an imperfect man. If he built the church off Peter, it would have fell down the same night. Y'all better catch what I'm saying. He built one church, not churches. And check this out. It wasn't Pentecostal. It wasn't Baptist. It wasn't Kojic. It wasn't CME, AME, non-denomination. It wasn't Seventh-day Adventist. It wasn't uh, Primitive. It, it wasn't Pentecostal. It wasn't Second Baptist, First Baptist, Third Baptist, Fifth Baptist. It wasn't none of this. Well, J.T. John the Baptist was a, he was, you know, he was Baptist. No, he wasn't. John the Baptist was a baptizer. He was not Baptist. You, all of these titles, I, I'm leaving some out. Mormons, uh, what was Seventh-day Adventist? I mean, you name it. Whatever title you name, you can go back and study and you will see that none of those titles was ever in the Bible. There wasn't no Baptist in the Bible. There wasn't no Kojic in the Bible. There wasn't no church. In Christ, you know, in, in the Bible, you know. There wasn't no Southern Baptist. Wasn't no Primitive Baptist. Where did all this stuff come from? And why is it so important now? Well, Jesus was Baptist. No, he wasn't. Jesus was Kojic. No, he wasn't. No, JT. J Jesus was Pentecost. Jesus was the Messiah. That's what he was. He, wanted, he was a servant. He was the Messiah. He showed us that. See, when you see me preaching and teaching, this ain't that, oh, well, I'm following JT. No, you're not following me. You're following the Holy Spirit. I don't have a church. I'm a part of the body. That's why I'm not stuck on titles. I don't need doctor in front of my name. I don't need no Dr. JT. It's, it's not JT's church, you know. Have you ever noticed I don't never put a title on myself? That's why y'all call me JT. Some of y'all may call me pastor or elder, and y'all know I ain't even stuck on that. I don't care about them titles. You can just simply call me JT because I'm just a servant. I'm just a messenger. I'm just an angel. Angel in the Greek means messenger. Uh, y'all hear me all the time say I'm the messenger, not the enforcer. I'm not higher than nobody. I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal. And you're not following me. You're following the Holy Spirit. That's, the Holy Spirit is using me. It's not JT's way. That's why I preach what the Bible say. And I, you notice I don't preach opinions. And if I have an opinion, I say, well, y'all, this is my opinion. This ain't got nothing to do with the word. This is just my opinion. I always let y'all know. But opinion is just like a butthole. Everybody got one. Now, y'all catch what I'm saying? So we have to understand, once again, you got, my, you got man's way versus the most high's way. And if it's not the most high's way, I don't want no part of it. 
I don't want no part of it. That's why I preach to people what they need to hear versus what they want to hear, you know. I'm not here to make you feel good in your lifestyle of sin. I'm not going to encourage you to keep staying a sinner. When you look at the Bible, the Most High took men and he cleaned them up. Then put them over people. Most of these bitches now, they, oh man, I gotta, I gotta ordain you, brother. They just want to ordain somebody. And I, and I ain't talking about everybody, you know. But when you study, let, let me, oh, teach on the spirit. Let me break this down for a moment. Because in the Bible, what did you see? Overseer, bishop, disciples, apostles, evangelists. Let's break this down. In, in the smallest way. God sent the apostles. Mm. It wasn't no voting. He didn't, he didn't say go get a crew of people and vote this, this man in here. God sent the apostles, not man. God sent the prophets. You see what I'm saying? He sent the true prophets. Not prophets. P-R-O-F-I-T-S. He sent the P-R-O-P-H-E-T-S. He sent them. He sent the evangelists. He sent the teachers. Now, here's the question. Are you chose by God or are you chose by church folks? Oh, or are you chose by mankind? How you gonna elect, how you gonna, how you gonna elect an apostle? Hmm. Hmm. How you gonna elect a prophet? See, this is man's way. How you gonna elect a bishop? We're gonna vote on. No. When God chose Paul, God chose Paul. He, he chose Paul. They was trying to figure out where you get your, who told you you can preach Paul? Where you get this doctrine from? Who are you? And what did the most I say? That's my chosen vessel. When you are chosen, you don't need no permission from nobody else. You don't need all this other stuff, you know. That's why you got to understand the difference between evangelists, pastors. You see what I'm saying? Most of the things now, once again, are man-made. God sent who he sent. God appointed. God made, not man-made. God the Most High, Yah made. And you had to have your house in order. The Most High sent those offices. Why? He showed us for the saints. He put it in the church for a reason. If you don't understand the difference between those offices, this is why you have a, when you don't understand, that's why you got to add all the church. That's why you got these deacons trying to tell the pastor what to preach now. That's why you got musicians all in the pulpit trying to tell the pastor what to do. Or vice versa, pastors want to, they want to be the musician, they want to be the minister of music of the church and the pastor. They're taking on so many loads and they're trying to figure out why they can't, why they can't move forward. But it's a difference between being over somebody like a bishop versus an evangelist. Let me let me go back to Paul for a minute once again. Paul showed us this. The most I put all this in place for the work of the ministry. Paul had Timothy up under him to do the what did he tell? Paul told Timothy to do the work of an evangelist. And Timothy was like a son in the ministry to Paul. I always say Timothy was like Paul's young protege. And Timothy had to stand up against some people older than him. So he told him to do the work of an evangelist, not a pastor. Not an apostle. Paul was an apostle. But nowadays, most people don't want nobody over them. But see, that's the most high's divine order once again. That's another reason why a woman never was put in place to be a pastor. Ain't no such thing as a female pastor. There is no such thing as a woman pastor. And I don't care who getting mad at that. You mad at them. You mad at the most high's divine order. I'm so sick of people with this. Oh, this, this is, um, this is Lady Bishop Edwards. No, a woman was never no bishop. A woman was never no overseer. Yeah, could she evangelize? Yes. The women in the Bible were the first evangelists. But learn the difference between evangelizing and being put over somebody as an overseer, as a pastor. That's why you had to be husband of one wife. That was a man's, that was a man's position and still is. And the most time never changed that. They changed it nowadays, but that's 
mankind's way. That's not Yahweh. Apostle, oh man. When you study the Bible, I'm trying to wrap this video up. Apostle was like, I ain't going to say what's like, it was one of the highest ranking positions. That's why Apostle can tell you what to do. They had that right. The Most High chose the Apostles, and the Apostles laid out some strict information. Apostle, once again, is chose by God, and they set the rules. Let me, let me tell you something. Apostle was over your bishop, <laughs> over your evangelist, over that, over all of that. That's why the, 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 the job of an Apostle was so hard up, and still is, you know. When you got a real Apostle... They're not going to brag on their title. They're not even going to worry about their title. But most most bishops got a problem with apostles nowadays. You know? It's just, that's just what it is. Most, most, most people don't understand what they got a problem with is the most high's divine order. That's why any woman get mad when a, when a man preaches against a woman preacher. They mad, they mad at what the word rolled out. They're going to go back, well, you know, devil was a judge. You're going back to Old Testament talking about a judge. You know, but, but when you start talking about the position of a bishop, an elder, a pat, overseer, um, elder, overseer, bishop, pretty much all mean the same thing. But an apostle, once again, was over bishops. Go back to the Bible. Paul was over Timothy. Paul was over Titus. See, nowadays, a lot of people want to hold the title of a ministry, but check this out. They don't want to do the work. I, I, I want that title, but you don't want to put in that hard work because it's not easy. Titles don't mean nothing. Well, 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 I'm the greatest bishop that ever lived. I, I'm this, I'm that. This is like me saying I'm the greatest boxer in the world. Can't nobody beat me, but I won't fight nobody. You see what I'm saying? What's that title? What is that? It's nothing. See, when, when you look at a title, titles tell people what you want to be. But when you look at a person's actions, your actions tell you who you are. See, we got a lot of wannabes out here. We got a lot of pretenders out here. We got a people, once again, they want the title, but they don't want the work. As I close with this, I'm ordained by the Holy Spirit. And you know, by that being like that, there are so many people who want to let JT preach because I didn't go to seminary school. Huh. I didn't take this class over here. I went up under this person. I didn't get this man over here to lay hands on me. I'm ordained by the Holy Spirit. And that makes a lot of people mad. Well, buddy, you, you needed such and such amount of hours. And you need to go back to school and go back. I never went. See, some preachers see ministry as a business, not me. And they focus on too much foolish stuff. The Most High showed me what to do, how to do it. And that's all I needed. You know, same thing with the piano. I didn't go to nobody's. Nobody's college for piano classes. And look at how many, I'm not, and I'm not bragging, you know, all, all due respect, I'm not bragging, I'm making a statement, a point, a fact. I didn't go to nobody's seminary school and look on YouTube alone how, did, how many people I was able to teach the piano. Why? Because that came through the Holy Spirit, not by man, you know. The Most High made a way for me where I didn't even have to go to school for teaching the word, nor teaching the piano, music. You know, so once again, the most time makes us. Now, if you got anybody else calling you, once again, as I close, to be a pastor and all this other stuff, then you got man's way, not Yahweh. Y'all have a blessed weekend.